In this video, we're going to be unboxing this 40 volt heart. Uh, looks like a string trimmer and a leaf blower. Um, later on, I'm going to be comparing the trimmer to the Ryobi 18 Plus that we already have. Uh, the reason why we got this uh, for two reasons. One, so we can have two people out, you know, weed eating the area if we need to at the same time. And we're not fighting with uh, crappy weed eaters that we have. And two, this was on clearance. This was only $25. And I'm hoping, I believe it actually does come, yeah, it comes with a 4 amp hour battery. And the uh, string trimmer is uh, the 12 inch string trimmer. The leaf blower is, um, it's a lighter one. It does 190 mile an hour wind, which is, I don't know, it probably do the job of a lot of things. But yeah, it comes with a battery. We'll just go to the back of the box here. Uh, this here, variable speed trigger on the trimmer. Uh, lightweight, auto feed head. Anymore if it doesn't have an auto feed head. You know, seems like all of them's gone to the auto feed head. Uh, let's see here, oh, 10 to 12 inches for cutting. And then works with all heart 40 volt batteries. The blower, uh, 190 miles an hour, like I said, variable speed trigger, lightweight. Uh, it says ideal for hard surfaces, so I'm guessing it's not good for like blowing, like cut grass or something on your lawn. And then same thing, works with the batteries. Let's see here, specifications for the string trimmer, uh, 12 inch, 40 volts, uh, 0 .080 uh, size for the line, which luckily we have that, I didn't see that before. Uh, it only weighs 6.9 pounds. Let's see here, the blower, 40 volt, 190 miles an hour, 7.5. This is actually weighs more than that, about a half a pound more. And then... Uh, Five-year warranty, three-year warranty on the battery. Let's go ahead and get this thing open. All right. The blower attachment. Uh, there's the string trimmer guard handle. All right, there's your blower itself. Wrap this handle up in cardboard. There we go. That's not bad looking. And it is Walmart, so we'll see how good it is. And there's the trimmer itself. We'll go ahead and just slap all these together. Uh, there's your battery. And then the battery charger. Yeah, stupid wind. All right. As you can see, I adjusted the camera angle. Go ahead and open this up. That is one big battery. And it definitely needs to be charged. So we'll just get that thing set right there. We'll get it on the charger here in a minute. This guy looks pretty easy to put together. You just slide that on there. Line these two up and there you go. That looks like it's it. Sucks in from the bottom, blows out. So that one's done. And this guy. This is the thing I'm really, really interested in. This plastic fly everywhere. And then we'll see. Might not come with one of those little screwdrivers, so looks like you might need a screwdriver. It's one of the reasons I always carry a Leatherman. 
All right, instruction manual, safety. Uh, there's probably warranty stuff in here as well. I'll shove that down there. Hopefully, it won't blow away. see here it only goes one way line it up tighten these guys down with said screwdriver that you need I probably should have put the handle on before I did this but we'll see probably just made my life harder it's what I like doing so I'm homesteading Let's see here if I'm holding it like that. I want it up here or down there? Up here. And then handle's curved. You know, you want it curved towards you rather than away. So towards the handle. Hopefully. There we go. And put the bolt back in. set something like that that should be good it's obviously adjustable so if it turns out not to be fine then I could change it go to this side oh, it only has one opening for the string that's interesting it comes with string obviously it's like it's lined with hard plastic or wire Right. You got this guy. Here's your adjustment for your blade. So you can go 12 inches or 10 inches. You just loosen the screw, turn it around for the shorter length. Alright, and that bag came with some screws. And looks like it only go one way, so you just line it up, and then you screw it down. See that fairly simple assembly? Four screws there, two screws there, clamp that on. And actually I'm going to go ahead and toss the battery in here. Battery's almost dead, but I just want to see what it's like here. Slide it in. I think the battery almost weighs more than the weed eater. Okay, so it's only a single speed. Seems like it's pretty slow, but um, I'm actually going to take and put some thin cable in here. You know, like, um, guide wire or something so we'll see how that works out and compare it to the other Ryobi or the Ryobi so stay tuned for that video that should be coming up pretty soon so till next time keep kicking up dust